OK, so this is how to install VirtualBox 6 on Windows 10. And we're also going to install the extension pack and configure the system path so that VBox Manage works on the command line. So the first thing that we need to do is download VirtualBox. So if you go to this URL, which is virtualbox.org slash wiki slash downloads, and I'll put that link in the description, you want to click on Windows Hosts, and that will download VirtualBox. And then you want to scroll down a little bit and you want to click on all supported platforms underneath Oracle VM VirtualBox extension pack. So click on that and that will download the extension pack. So I'll just come back when they have finished downloading. OK, so now that VirtualBox has finished downloading, you want to navigate to the folder that you downloaded them to. So I'm just going to right click and click show in folder and you want to double click on VirtualBox 6.0.8 with dash win at the end. So double click on that and then click next and next again. And now we have the choice to create start menu entries, a desktop shortcut, quick launch bar shortcut and register file associations. So I'm just going to leave all of these ticked and click next. We now have a warning that's basically telling us that our network will be temporarily interrupted. So you can just click yes and then install. And now we have a UAC, so just click yes to that. And now that the installation is complete, you want to leave this ticked so that it launches VirtualBox and click finish. So VirtualBox has launched minimized. You want to just come down to its icon and click on it. And if we just click on help and about VirtualBox, you can see that we now have VirtualBox 6. So let's install the extension pack. So you want to click on file, preferences and then go down to extensions and click on that and then you want to add a new package so click on this icon and you want to navigate to where you downloaded the VirtualBox extension pack highlight it by clicking on it and click open and then you want to click install and scroll down on the licensing agreement and click I agree and now we have another UAC so just click yes and if everything went well, you should have an installed successfully message. So just click OK and then click OK on this preferences box. And now we're going to configure the system path so that VBox Manage works. So if we just open up a command line and type in V capital V B O X capital M manage and hit enter, you'll see that VBox Manage is not recognized as an internal or external command. So let's just close this. And in our file browser, let's click on local disk and you want to click on program files and then look for Oracle, which is down here. So double click on that and then double click on VirtualBox. So this is where the VBox Manage program actually is. And if we just scroll down, let's try and find it. So it is right over here. So if we just click on our address bar, just in some white space, we want to copy this. So copy this address and now hit your Windows key and type in env. And what you're looking for is edit system environment variables. If that doesn't come up, you can hold the Windows key and press R and you want to type in system properties advanced.exe and that's camel case. So it's a capital S for system, capital P for properties, capital A for advanced.exe and just click OK. And then you want to click on environment variables within this window. And you want to come over here to user variables for your username and you want to click on path. So you can double click on this or you can just highlight it and click edit. And what we want to do is create a new entry. So just click new and we want to paste the address that we copied earlier. So just right click and click paste. So that's C drive backslash program files backslash Oracle backslash VirtualBox and then just click OK. So now that's all done. If we just click OK now and then we can just OK this box and we can get rid of this file browser because we don't need it anymore. And now if we open up a command line, so Windows key and just type in CMD to get a command prompt, hit enter. If we type in VBox Manage, so capital VBOX, capital M, Manage, and hit enter, you'll see that we no longer get that error. 
and VBox Manage works. Now, just a quick thing to take into account, if I just go back to that environment variables window, so I'm just gonna go back to that, click on environment variables. The reason why we don't have to type in vboxmanage.exe and we can just type in vboxmanage is because of this environment variable here, which is path extensions. So if you don't have that, you'll have to create it. So you wanna basically create a new variable and you wanna type in capital P-A-T-H E-X-T, so path extensions, and you wanna just put dot capital E-X-E. And if you want to add any of the others, then they're separated by semicolons. So you just put a semicolon in between them and then say dot capital C-O-M semicolon dot and then so on and so forth. But as I already have that, I'm just going to cancel this and just cancel this now. Okay, so that's how to install VirtualBox 6 on Windows 10 along with the extension pack and how to configure your system path so that VBox Manage works on your command prompt. And I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please don't forget to like it and share it as it really helps out the channel a lot and subscribe if you haven't already. So thanks for watching and goodbye.